Hello and welcome to Creative by Caffeine. Uh, my name is Ivy and I'm so glad that you're here because this past week I found this project that I've really been wanting to try out. And it's been really hard to wait until Saturday, but uh, I really wanted to share it with you because I think it's really cool. Uh, so I think on Monday I found this new YouTube channel called Animation, and on his channel he makes these really awesome flip books. Um, he got his start as a child just doing these really basic ones, but now he does some really cool like in-depth um, animations. And so I've really been wanting to try it out myself and see, you know, what can I do and what can you do with just like basic supplies in your house already. I think flip books are really cool because you just take a bunch of sheets of paper, draw an image, and then you change it slightly over time. And I think it's really cool that even with those little bitty things, you can create animation in your own house without having um, really expensive tools or programs or software. And so I think it's a really accessible thing for anyone to do. And um, so we're gonna try that out today. So uh, come learn with me. The supplies that you'll need for your project today are paper, pencil, a phone, a binder clip, and a glass baking dish. My first step was to cut down some paper I already own. I pulled mine out of a sketchbook, but I really like the thickness and the flipping quality of it. Um, your other options are to buy some that's already cut down or use note cards, which are a really good thickness. Next, I worked on getting my base drawing down. I knew that no matter what I wanted to do, I was going to have a baseline on every page that stayed consistent. So after that, I worked through a couple ideas of what I wanted on those pages. And eventually I settled on a sun moving across the sky in a curved pattern. So that's why you see me using a cup as a reference here. And then I'm also gonna have a little flower sprouting up and growing through the seams. At this point, a lot of traditional animators or illustrators would probably use a light table to allow themselves to see their sketches on previous pages and line those up with their future pages. Um, but since that's not very easily accessible, I figured we could DIY one really easy using the flashlight of our phone and a glass baking dish. Any glass baking dish with a flat bottom that you can use as a working surface will work just fine for this. So what you'll want to do is take your first illustration, put it on top of the glass baking dish, and then put a blank page over top of it. By doing this, you'll be able to see the first illustration, see where your animation was in that frame, and then just move it a tiny bit to grow in that next frame. You'll want to make sure to do this in small increments. It's just going to make your animation flow better at the end. So let's walk through some troubleshooting that you might have while doing this project. My first mistake that I made was picking subject matter that was too complex. I started out with an image of a dog that was going to run and fetch a ball and come back. But after about five frames, I realized that that probably wasn't feasible in the long term. So I gave up on that idea. Um, I may pursue it at a different time. But I figured for my first flipbook, I need to choose something simple that I could stand drawing about 50 times. The next problem that you'll want to look out for is the flippability of your paper. So I did a whole flip book on copy paper in preparation for this. And when I got to the end and I did my final flip, I was so disappointed with the paper quality. And you couldn't even tell all the hard work that I had put into it because it just wouldn't flip. So make sure whatever paper you choose to use, definitely test it out first and make sure it has a good thickness and you like the way and the speed that it goes through.
And the final lesson that you'll need to keep in mind for this video is definitely have patience. It's going to take um, several frames for you to develop an animation that you really like and to do it smoothly. I think this one had about 40 frames, but I definitely could have extended it much more and made it really smooth and made the characters really dynamic. But just keep in mind whatever you do, you're going to have to have a little bit of patience with it. You're drawing the same subject matter over and over throughout all these pages, but keep in mind that that final result is really going to be worth it. making this flip book. I definitely think I want to try it again. I learned so much in this one and I know that I can only do better in my next one. If you decided to follow along with this video, tag me or comment below with your project. I'd love to see it and I hope to see you in the next video. Bye!